Hmm. Population of 56,596 and an area of 1,307 square kilometres. Never heard of it. Hi everybody, hope you're well. Uh, now, since launch, the Alicanto Grande has only ever had one model that is based on a twin axle chassis, and that being the Porto, both the Series 1 and the Series 2. And the Porto, if you're unaware, is the end bed mid washroom configuration. So now is the time to introduce a brand new layout to the Alicanto range. Of course, when I'm talking about brand new layouts, I actually mean an existing layout, which is very popular. But in this range, and with the king-size bed that the Alicanto Grandes now host, this caravan looks extremely spacious. So why don't we have a look around this brand new caravan, and this is the Alicanto Grande Evora. The layout I'm referring to is the ever-popular end washroom transverse bed. This layout is popular across the ranges from Bailey, which can be seen in the Phoenix Plus 644, the Pegasus Grande Bologna, and the Unicorn Cartagena models. Like the rest of the Alicanto range, the Evora is 8 foot wide, and as I mentioned right at the beginning, the Evora joins the Porto as another twin axle model. So, without further ado, let's start at the front of the caravan and make our way towards the back. The front of the caravan is exactly the same as the Lisbon and the Porto. The seating has removable headrests in the corners, and can be seen here with the standard Portobola fabric. It is however available in the optional Latimer fabric with AcroClean built in. This is ideal for a family, anyone with pets, or a bit like me, a bit clumsy. Above the seats, the lockers are finished off in cashmere and light oak, and fitted with soft closing hinges. Inside this particular cupboard is the inbuilt Avtex Wi-Fi module, which is fitted as standard across the Alicanto range. The large infinity window really does dominate the front of the caravan, and lets in ample light to the entire caravan. And in this Evora layout, the level of light is even more noticeable, and really does make the caravan feel very spacious. The L-shaped kitchen has an undermount circular sink with flush fit cover, next to which is the cooker with dual fuel hob, with separate grill and oven below. Behind the kitchen worktop is the splash pack with chrome detail, where you can find the control panel for the outer wet central heating and hot water. Above the cooker is the microwave, and directly opposite is the Dometic Tower refrigerator with separate freezer compartment. Now going back towards the door, there's a wireless charging pad with USB connection ports too, a TV bracket with nicely concealed connection points, and above the door is the control panel for the water pump, onboard water tank, the master switch, and battery level indicator. So everything up to this point is the same as the Porto. But now, instead of a washroom, we have the king size transverse bed. And as you can see, there is no wardrobes that surround the bed, and I think this makes the sleeping area even more spacious. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll put the bed sizes on screen now, but the king size bed is in fact 1.9 by 1.53 meters. That's six foot three by five foot to you and me. And crucially, has a sprung construction for maximum comfort. Above the bed is plenty of locker space, and down beside each side of the bed you can see a handy little bedside table with plenty of storage below for books and headphones and knickknacks, and as you can see from this well-placed mug, a great place for a morning cup of tea. The wardrobes have been moved and combined to the corner of the bedroom, where there are two rails ideal for long or short garments, plenty of small storage areas, and suitable shoe storage too. A nice feature in this wardrobe is the light that switches on when the door is opened. At the other end of the bed is a small vanity mirror with concealed storage, a second TV mounting point and suitable connectivity for 12 volts and mains power, and not forgetting the antenna connection too. Moving to the rear of the caravan is the washroom. Right in the corner is the shower, and this is a fully lined cubicle, and I'm not sure you can really tell, but it is really big. In the centre of the washroom is the sink, and I must say, I really like this design. It's functional, easy to keep clean, and maybe it will reduce the amount of splash you get when you're cleaning your teeth. Finally, to the left is a Thetford cassette toilet with integrated flush, which sits next to a heated towel rail. The window is clear, but as I mentioned on previous videos, a fogging film can be added to this window to provide a little more privacy. Now before we finish, let's head outside for a quick look around the exterior. The Evora is much like the Porto and the Lisbon, with its huge front window, flush windows down the sides, but I think you'll agree, with the washroom window at the rear, this looks far neater with these graphics. You'll also notice that there's no through storage at either side of the bed, like that found on the Porto in Lisbon. However, you can gain access to the underside of the bed from the near side of the caravan. Just like the others in the range, the electric hookup point is now on the offside, complete with the water, the gas, waste and the toilet. 
and the service light is a welcome addition if any services need attention in the dark. So let's finish up with the specification. The caravan weighs in at 1,694 kilos MRO and is 1,855 kilos MTPLM. It's 7.86 meters in length and 2.45 meters in width. Height is the standard 2.6 meters. Now this caravan is going to be on show at the Bailey Owners Group Rally uh, coming up in September and then you'll be able to see this very caravan at the NEC in October and if you miss the October show don't worry it'll be there in February. It'll be this very caravan in fact that'll be on display at both of those shows. Uh, they are starting to build these in the end of September so you may be able to find one or two of these on dealer forecourts up and down the country as well. So there you go that's my very quick tour of this caravan. I hope you like it. I think it's a lovely caravan very big very spacious optically the bed looks bigger than it does in the porto and the lisbon even though the mattress size is exactly the same without those enclosing wardrobes that mattress does look a lot bigger so there we go hope you enjoy this video please do hit the subscribe button hit the notification icon if you could do all of that then i'll see you in the next video many thanks for watching everybody take care bye bye